China on Wednesday kicked off the application process for global exhibitors looking to participate in the 8th China International Import Expo set to be held in November 2025. 26 firms headquartered in countries such as the United States, Japan, and Germany signed up to participate on set at the exhibition recruitment launch ceremony in Nanning, the capital city of southwest China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. Dun & Bradstreet, the U.S.-based commercial data and analytics firm, has been attending the CIIE since 2020, aspiring to leverage the platform of CIIE to further explore the Chinese market. Actually, this is our fifth year participating in this very important event. So I think it's very important that we uh, be part of this event in, uh, uh, you know, because of a few reasons. Uh, firstly, uh, uh, we, we view this as a, as a platform we connect with our client, our partners, uh, and also other stakeholders in the market. So, so we built a uh, you know, uh, network of our friends uh, on the CIE platform. You know, secondly, um, is, uh, we launch new products every year in the CIE event. Uh, so for, for example, we launched uh, Global Data Blocks, is, is a product, uh, you know, with a global uh, enterprise information. Now, uh, this product is becoming the biggest product for DMB in China. Thirdly, it's also a platform where we listen to the market, listen to the feedback and see what's going on. Uh, then, you know, we, we, then we look at our strategy and uh, what we should do in order to you know, evolve and meet uh, with our customer requirements in the China market. The standard brush has been in China for 40 years. We are a business service company. We also witness, you know, how the country is being opening up. Increasingly, uh, we are looking at China as an innovation center, as a talent, and, and also the speed of innovation, you know, is really amazing in China. So that's why even uh, at Dana Brush, we're trying to combine our innovation in China with our global, you know, product to serve not only the Chinese market, but also the worldwide market.